Morning, everybody. It's actually before noon this time. Yay. Wait, is it? Yeah. It's still before noon. I'm going to go to shower soon. Um, yes. Today is going to be a good day. If you haven't seen it yet, <clears throat> I suggest, very strongly suggest, that you guys go watch Super Chorus's new video, I'm Mormon and I Know It. It's a parody of that video, I'm Sexy and I Know It. Oh my god, I've already lost count how many times I've played this video. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it's just... I'll put a link to it in the description because you definitely need to see it. It's awesome. And it definitely needs more views than it's already got. <laughs> I guess it's time to tell you guys if I can talk through these things. Um, the big change thing that I was like, oh, you might see it in the next days or weeks or whatever. Um, yeah, today. <laughs> um, I broke up with my boyfriend. It's just not working out, and when I tried to talk to him about it, he got mad that I brought it up and signed off for the rest of the day. So I'm like, wow, that's not cool. And I've been trying to talk about it, you know, trying to tell him, but he doesn't listen anymore. And he just keeps babbling on about his own, what he's doing in his life. And I'm like, okay, but I'm not allowed to share what's going on with me either. It's, I just have to listen to him all the time. And it's just not what I want in a relationship. So, I messaged him because he was online this morning. <clears throat> I messaged him and asked him if we could talk for a minute. Because you know it would only take me a minute or two. And he signed off. It wasn't like right away. It was that delay where you know they saw your message and then they signed off instead. So, I was like, okay, maybe his internet cut out. So I waited a couple minutes, he never replied. So I'm like, alright. So I messaged him, and I told him, you know, I had wanted to do that while he was on, but obviously he wasn't going to let me do that. Um, I told him, look, you've been pushing me away the last month, and whenever I'm trying to bring it up to talk about it, you just completely ignore it. And, you know, last night he got mad about it, so I'm like, okay, well, I think we need to break up. And a few minutes later, he replied, so I knew that he was there, you know. And he's like, oh, I wasn't even here, I was out something with my car and whatever, and I'm like, okay, whatever. He completely ignores the whole message. And just starts babbling on about what he's doing today, and I'm like... Are you kidding me? You couldn't even t like, wouldn't that make you stop and go, wait, what's going on? Like, honestly, he could care less. And I'm like, okay then, so, I was like, okay, well, hopefully your car isn't, you know, seriously broken because it would suck. I don't care who it is, you know, it sucks when your car breaks down. But. I was like, okay, whatever, and then he ignored that, and then he's just like, I have classes today, and then after that is when we'll talk then. I'm like, there's nothing else to talk about, I already told him, and obviously he's already proven over the past month that he doesn't want to fix whatever has gone wrong, and he's changed so much since we first got together that it's just not working out it's not what I like anymore he's not the same so oh well I tried I'm, I'm actually this time I'm willing to stay friends with him but it doesn't even upset me at all and I was talking to my twin and she goes well that just means that you've already been over it and you just didn't know it until now and that's right I think I th I'm pretty sure she's right she's usually right about stuff that's why I always go to her and so yes that is what the big change is, and honestly, it doesn't upset me, and I haven't cried over it. So I guess that's just another reason, you know, another reason that, you know, it's, 
obviously it's over, so I'll, I will see what he has to say tonight, but as of right now, I don't see how there, how it, anything can be fixed. It's just, it's over. Simple as that, it's over. And I, honestly, it doesn't even bother me. Oh well. Oh my gosh, guys, look, I'm not in my bedroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually got to leave the house because they weren't gone all day. I took a picture of the sky and it's really windy out. And look, I'm not wearing a coat. It's like 55 degrees. January the end of January. And it's spring weather. In yeah, in Michigan. It's not normal! Take two. My sister got it all. Barbie, I'm not sure why. She needs serious hair makeover. Talk about bedhead. And I think she's got scoliosis of the legs. Examining it. I think she has scoliosis of the legs. Oh. Yeah? Doll. Doll. What do you mean? Well, look at them, they're all bent. See? See them? Baby legs. Yep. Oh. I'm gonna die of the hair. The hair is kind of the same. Yeah, you're gonna break your damn arm and leg. A zip. Zip tuck. Always. What? Zip to second. Zip to second is. It is one billionth of a trillionth of a second. Nothing can escape from a black hole. Except for me. <clears throat> American, a American man cooked 427 om omelets in, in 30 minutes. Somebody, Were they fully cooked? Wow. Some Oops. butterflies' ears are on their wings. My ears are on my wings. See? Here. Here. <laughs> Fingernails grow faster than toenails. Well, I, wish, I wish my hair would grow faster than my toenails. A camel can drink 500 cups of water in 10 minutes. What? What, what is that word? Gelatology. Ge Gelatology is the study of laughter. <laughs> a supermarket in South South Africa created a pizza that was 122 feet 8 inches across and weighed as much as two male African elephants. Eight inches. Two 122 feet and eight, eight inches across. Yep. Eight feet. No, 122 feet yeah. and eight inches. And it weighed as much as two male African element elephants. <laughs> elements. <laughs> You can't really see it. There's another arrow glitch. <laughs> Oh jeez. Yep. There's a skeleton right there shooting at us. I can hear a creeper under us. That thing right there on fire is a skeleton. Lol. It burns in the sun. It burns us. It burns us. That's a ravine. That's Alex. <laughs> There's a spider over there, but I don't have a sword. Where is he? You can hear my basement zombie. He's under the floor somewhere. I named him Fred. <laughs> Old sheep. Old sheep. <laughs> Old sheep. <laughs> well, the chickens are supposed to be upstairs, and they're not. 
silly chickens. Look, there's a green sheep back there. And there's blue and orange and yellow. There's a purple one somewhere, I don't know where it went. Oh, it hasn't grown its fur back yet. <laughs> and he's riding a pig. <laughs> oh god. I lose track of time when I have when I'm on Minecraft, I really do. I don't know how many hours I've been on here. I've been playing with Alex all afternoon and been pranking him. <laughs> Completely covered the outside of his house, like all the grass nearby it and flowers. <laughs> And I blocked his back door entrance with a bunch of pumpkins. <laughs> I was like, hey, did you see the prank yet? And he was like, yes. <laughs> oh, I have too much fun with this. Hey guys, it's like almost 12.30 in the morning. I'm just laying here watching videos and spamming Alex with a bunch of videos that I'm like, you must watch this! Which is working because it's making him laugh. But my headache's not going away at all. I'm sitting in the dark. Sort of. Whatever. So I'm gonna probably go to bed soon. Even though I said that like I think two hours ago. I'm gonna go to bed. And then YouTube videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful night. Slash morning. Slash whatever it is. Wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.